Hi, I'm Tiffany Hsu, and I cover green business for the Los Angeles Times. Touchscreens use them. So do military tracking technologies. Fluorescent lights do too. So rare earth's elements, with crazy names like neodymium and dysprosium, are mighty central to technological innovation here in the U.S. So it's no wonder that the thought that there might not be enough to go around is stirring up quite a bit of panic. China digs up the vast majority of rare earths used in the country and around the world, about 97% of the global supply. But recently, the Asian superpower has decided that it wants to keep most of the supply in-house rather than export it. The U.S. is crying foul. So is the international clean tech industry, which relies on the elements for wind turbines and electric vehicles, and already has a fraught relationship with aggressive Chinese competitors. So for now, there's really only one hope in the U.S., and that's a mine out at the edge of California in Mountain Pass, run by a Colorado company called Molly Corp. They're hoping to expand their operations more than a thousand percent. But right now, they're only digging up about 3% of the rare earths used around the world. So unless that works, Obama's prediction might be true, and we might be headed for a Sputnik-style standoff.